In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the squash commits feature of Visual Studio. But first, what is squash commits? Squash commits refers to the practice of combining multiple commit messages into a single one. This is particularly useful in scenarios where you've made many small commits that relate to a single feature or fix, and you want to make the commit history cleaner and more understandable. So why squash commits? First, the cleaner history. If you are working on a feature or a bug and have 10 commits, once the feature or bug is complete, those 10 commits may only represent one unit of change, the feature or bug. Squashing turns those 10 commits into a single commit, which provides a cleaner and more concise history. The second reason, easier code reviews. It's often easier to for reviewers to understand a series of changes when they are grouped together. Third reason is undoing changes. If a feature introduced a bug, it's much easier to revert one commit rather than hunting through multiple related commits. So let's um, try to change. For example, we made changes here and then commit it. Uh, by the way, I've already committed one a while ago, so this is um, the first commit. We will now commit the second one. The squash only works for the locally pushed or committed changes. It doesn't work if you have already push it in the origin so we also we've we need to make sure that the changes we committed is in our local branch um, only so once we already have uh, two commits um, we can click the branch right click and then view history you can see we have now the two changes. Um, if uh, to do the squash commits, we need to select the first one and then hold uh, the control key in your keyboard and then left click. And then you can now right click. You can see the squash commits is now enabled. Uh, let's click it and then let's choose a new commit message for this and then squash so you can see the two commits now is now turned into only one clear commit so yeah that's it